John is faced when he when he encounters the wildlings society and their world, he's faced with a whole slew of disorienting similarities with his world. The, the fact that these people aren't monsters and that their hopes and their ambitions are more like his than he ever would have imagined. And then he's faced with obvious dissimilarities in terms of, some of which are positive, in terms of which how, uh, how free they are and uh, how, how they run their society, how this king was an elected official for all intents and purposes, which is pretty much unknown in this world. The idea that people would choose their own leader is a pretty enticing idea to people who are not in any line of succession and never will be. Um, and then there are other things like the wargs in which are uh, which are definitely just alien alien aspects to their world and the giants being another obvious one uh, things that don't exist in in the the southern world things that are have been reduced to legend and history in the southern world are living and breathing moving north of the wall so I think that all of these things come together to produce a sort of a, I guess you could say, a crisis of confidence in his, his own worldview.